Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today I want to dedicate a video to my beginners, all of the people that are new to this plant-based lifestyle. Hello. Hi, welcome. I welcome you with open arms. Yes, so today's video, I'm showing you guys three recipes that I think will be really great, especially if you are starting out on a plant-based lifestyle. These are basic, but also very delicious, and I'm using a lot of very easy to find ingredients that you can just find in your regular grocery store. You don't have to go to some fancy grocery store where broccoli costs $20, okay? Just go to your regular grocery store. You should be able to find most of these ingredients there, if not all of them. And all of these meals will also be pretty high in protein so that's gonna keep you satiated and they're very nutritious I'm focusing on a lot of whole plant-based foods and these are also great for meal prepping you can make these in bulk and you can store it in your fridge and eat it for the next few days it'll make your lives easier and meal prepping is just a game changer so recently the movie the game changers came out on Netflix worldwide and I'm super excited for the release of this movie on Netflix because it can reach a wide audience if you haven't seen it yet I highly recommend you watch it it is actually a documentary that focuses on the benefits of a plant-based diet from an athletic perspective so from like a bodybuilding or an athletes perspective and it's quite interesting because it really targets the male demographic which I do think is lacking in the vegan community so men just come over okay just come over here anyways you want to watch the movie okay all boys go watch the movie well if you're already watching this then you're probably already anyway <sighs> not important either way this movie is great I do highly recommend you watch it and the thing about these movies the I guess the unfortunate part about these movies it's not unfortunate but I think a lot of people will watch these movies get very inspired which is fantastic but unfortunately after you watch it you might be really excited but you might not know like where to start what to do like what are you supposed to eat? And there's so much information out there so that, you know, it's almost confusing because there's so much information. So it's a little bit unfortunate, but hopefully people will do their research afterwards and, you know, they'll eat healthy and everything will be fantastic. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to like show you guys some recipes that are really, really easy to make that are great. And hopefully that will help you along your plant-based journey. If you guys need the written recipe, if you don't want to watch this video, if you'd rather get the written recipe, I always have a blog post that's linked down below with the written recipes there so you can check that out if you would prefer that and of course the written recipes do include all of the measurements if you need it however when I cook now I just don't even measure okay um, unless I'm doing a YouTube video that's the only time I measure my ingredients okay anyways what else do I need to say not much else let's get started the first recipe I'm going to show you is a very easy and basic cauliflower curry it's delicious it's simple it's one pot it's fantastic. So the first thing we're gonna do is dice some onion. I finally learned how to dice onions properly thanks to a Gordon Ramsay video. Yes, that angry man sure knows how to teach you how to properly cook. I don't know what I'm saying, okay. Now we're gonna cut up some cauliflower. You can use whatever vegetables you would like my friends. And in a large pot, we're actually using water to cook our vegetables because I want to keep things oil-free today. But of course, you can add in some oil to dice your onions first if you wish. Yeah, you can use water or oil. It's up to you. Now here, I'm adding some minced garlic, which I already have available because I have minced garlic available all the time thanks to a hack. If you want to watch what that hack is, I'll link a video down below. And here we're adding some uh, spices. So spices are very important in curry, people. So we're adding in turmeric, cumin, chili powder, curry powder. And we're going to cook that up a little bit. And then we can add our cauliflower. And we're also going to add some canned pineapple, which tastes great. We're also adding some salt, a can of coconut milk, along with some water. We're adding some red split lentils. That's going to help thicken out this curry. And of course, more protein. We are adding a can of chickpeas, which I've rinsed and drained. And we're gonna bring this mixture to a boil. When it comes to a boil, you're gonna turn it down to a low heat and cover it up and just let it kind of simmer for about, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes. And then it's ready to eat. It's super simple, guys. You can eat this with rice. It's also great with pasta. We can eat it with bread eat it with whatever you want. I topped mine with cilantro and it's that simple. 
Next recipe is going to be my go-to quinoa salad that's super simple and healthy. So first we're going to cook up the quinoa in a pot, just one cup of quinoa and one and a quarter cup of water. We're going to bring that to a boil with a little bit of salt and then when it comes to a boil you're going to turn that down to a low heat, cover it up and let it simmer for about 20 minutes or so. While that quinoa is cooking, you can pretty much prepare the rest of the ingredients. So I opened up a can of black beans and I rinsed and I drained. And I'm also going to chop a bunch of cilantro. I love cilantro, so I like to add a lot. And I'm also going to chop up some red onion as well. Once the quinoa is cooked, I like to remove it from the heat and kind of fluff it around a little bit and let it cool down. Once it's cooled down, I added it into a container here along with the black beans, the cilantro, the red onion. I'm also going to add some canned corn in there as well. And this is when I realized my container was too small. So let's move it to a bowl, a larger bowl. So we're going to mix that all together. I also decided to add in a bell pepper that I chopped up and some olives as well. So I just had some sliced olives and I'm just gonna add that into the mixture. So the dressing for this is super simple. We are literally just juicing one lemon. So we're using the lemon juice to bring out the flavors of everything in here. And I love this salad because it's just so simple, but it's so tasty. And all of the different textures and flavors just make this very interesting. So all you need is lemon juice and a little bit of salt and maybe some pepper, and that's it. And we can put these into containers. And I also like to top mine with some tomatoes as well. I don't wanna to add too many tomatoes because it can get a bit soggy if you add in uh, vegetables that have a little bit too much water content. So that's something to be aware of. Another thing I love adding is avocado slices in here and it is so good. Next recipe is going to be a lentil stir fry that's so easy and delicious. And lentils are a great source of protein and they're just really good for you. So we're gonna rinse out some lentils, drain it out. And for one cup of lentils, we're adding in two cups of water. We're bringing this mixture to a boil and then when it comes to a boil, turn it down to a low simmer and cover it up and let it cook for about 20 minutes or so until the lentils are soft enough. And while that's cooking, we can chop up some vegetables. I am dicing some onion. I'm also going to chop up some broccoli as well as some king oyster mushrooms. Now I'm just using whatever I have in my fridge and that is the beauty of stir fries. So after about 20 minutes, I checked up on the lentils and I wanted them to be cooked a little bit longer. So I just cooked them for a little bit longer. So just try it out and see if the texture is what you are looking for. And then in a large wok, we are going to add in those mushrooms and the onion. And once again, I'm not using any oil. I'm just gonna use the juices of the mushroom to cook up the vegetables. I also added in a lot of minced garlic as usual. And for the sauce, I'm keeping it super duper simple. I'm using some gochujang, which is Korean red chili pepper paste. And I'm also going to use some teriyaki sauce and just mixing those two things together. So gochujang is very thick. So I like to kind of mix together the uh, sauce first in a bowl with a little splash of water so that it becomes easier to work with. And once those lentils are finished cooking, you can of course add them into the wok. And you can also use canned lentils to make your lives easier if you don't want to bother cooking lentils from scratch. So we're gonna add in that broccoli as well and the sauce and then just mix everything well and just kind of let those flavors make love. This goes fantastic with some rice. It's simple, it's healthy, it's flavorful, and you can of course add in other sauces and other ingredients if you would like. And I'm going to garnish my lentils with some green onions and some toasted sesame seeds. And of course, I enjoyed these lentils with rice every single time. It's so handy to have this in the fridge. It's just a nice, delicious, and healthy meal. That's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed these three recipes. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've tried any of them. If you have, tag me on Instagram at Cheap Lazy Vegan. I also have an Instagram like community page called Cheap Lazy Gang where I repost your posts and delicious food. So if you wanna follow that, you can do that as well. If you enjoyed this video, of course, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new, 
Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I have so many recipes on my YouTube channel, so check those out. I've got lots, okay? Lots of vegan food ideas. You'll never run out of food, okay? You'll never run out of food. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell if you haven't already. Yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.